Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla Dawn of Ragnarok video. In this episode we are gonna go through how and where you can get the Fire Giant armor set, all 5 pieces. Also, what is a really smart idea, it is having and using the power of Raven and the power of Maspelheim. Without further talking, let's dive into it. For the Fire Giant trousers, you might wanna come in this location that I just showed earlier in this video around 11 to 15 second mark here on this location where you need to go you need to go into the cave so don't wander around if you want to do this fast find the cave enter it and then let's keep moving After entrance of the cave, we are seeing so much lava, so this is why you need the power of Maspelheim. Here is the location, if you did miss it, we are having couple treasures, few opals, along with the fire giant trousers. We are gonna move this movable stone thing and into the poison cave. You can get rid of the poison by using your torch, it will burn it fast. This part is crucial because we need the key in order to open the chest and you can find the key in bottom. I don't know what to call this, it is not river, but let's call it bottom of this cave in the flooded area. From the locked door we arrived to the treasure chest that holds the gear piece. So this is how you are getting fire sign trousers. The next thing after loading everything else it is gonna be the fire giant brazers. The brazers, they are located in Gulnimar, really close of the Dwarven shelters in this location that we are at the moment right now. And again, it is really smart idea of using the power of Maspelheim.
in this cave hideout. If you are running out of hugor, yeah, there is hugor plumes all over. And when you are actually arriving to this breakable wall, break it. No matter what ability you are using, just break it. And here you will have a kind of secret room. Well, quote unquote secret, but still it was sealed. And now we are here. It is time to get ourselves a fire giant brazers. Moving on to the third item from this set, and it is gonna be Fire Giant Cloak. Where you need to go, you need to go in A3. And as you did see on the map, there was an armor piece, and we are gonna come here. It is located in this building, and I will show what to do. It is easy as this, but now you need the power of Maspelheim once again. We need to move this movable rock. There is a ladder in the middle of the room, and this rock needs to be placed just, well, almost under it. So you can jump from this rock to that ladder. Other than that, this was pretty easy one, and here we are having the chest. The next piece from the list that we are gonna cross, it is gonna be the Fire Giant's armor, aka the torso piece. Gulnamar, we are gonna come in here. Here you need two keys, the one is in middle of the chip line. Well, you will see, and the other one, you will see that one as well, really, really soon. You need two keys that you need to collect in order to open the chest, because it is having two locks.
So far we have collected 4 pieces out of 5 and it is time for the last piece for the helmet. After that we are gonna take a look how the stats, how the perks and how and how the set is actually looking. So to the next location also in Gulnamar and here we go. Only thing you need for this one, it is gonna be the power of Muspelheim and you are gonna do exactly the same thing as we have done before so we are gonna move that movable rock out of the way so we can actually collect the chest It is time for the final part of this video and it is gonna be the showcase. Also neat little thing in the description of the items you are actually seeing where you can find everything basically or which area. Stat wise this is pretty pretty okay by the perks. Two set perk increase melee damage when your weapon is on fire bonus 25 melee damage. The five set bonus or the full set bonus Additional increase to melee resistance, bonus is 25 resistance. So let's take a look of the full set and how it is looking with and without the hood on. With the hood on this is actually looking pretty cool, I really love this cape. And even without it I really love the helmet of this set. Also those little metal rings, metal plates all over the torso piece. That is actually pretty nice and it, it is going really nice with the tattoo of Maspelheim really blending in making it even more better in my opinion. So by everything this is pretty cool set definitely worth of getting if you are owner of Dawn of Ragnarok expansion. But it is time to move on and we will see in the next video. Huge shout out to my channel members Joe, DNA, Kevin, Dennis, Nika and Arif. Thank you guys so much and if you want to be part of that group there is a join button below this video so if you want to join the channel and help us grow that is an option and you will get some cool little perks like custom emojis and more. Thanks for watching remember to hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings have fun stay safe be strong Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.